Hello there, everyone. Hello, hello. Welcome to a Crafty Thursday with Daryl Walter of Pickled Peppers Creative Cafe at pickledpeperscreative.com. Happy Friday Eve. Welcome. Come on in. Come on in. Today is Crafty Thursday at Pickled Peppers Creative Cafe, and this is the day that I come to share a crafty project with you. Um, and so super excited as always to share with you. Come on in, come on in. So we'll chat just a little bit while we're waiting for people. We'll give them just a minute to find me in their newsfeed. And then tonight I think we'll just get started pretty quickly um, creating. So how does that sound? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello, hello, hello. How are you this week? Come on in. When you come in, say hello. Um, let me know how you are. And most importantly, if you have had an opportunity to be crafty this week or if you have plans. I see Beth is watching. Hi, Beth. Welcome back. How are you? Happy Crafty Thursday. Welcome back. So good to see you. Thank you so much for being here. Um, how was your vacation? It looked fabulous. It looked fabulous. So um, exciting to see that you shared with us as well. Thank you. Thank you. Come on in. Come on in. So how are you today? Remember when you come in, um, say hello. I love chatting with you. If you are watching live, make sure to say hello. If you're watching the replay, let me know that you're watching the replay. I love to hear that as well. If you have any questions or comments, um, be sure to leave them. Sometimes it's a little challenging to see them, especially when I'm creating. However, I will go back um, after the video and answer any questions and chat chat away with you and if I see them in the live feed as we're going I'll do it then as well although sometimes I miss them when I'm paying attention to to what we're sharing so um fast it, oh you came home a big a bit sick I'm sorry to hear that I hope you're feeling better I hope you're feeling better. You did um, have some fantastic pictures and views, so super, super exciting to see. I'm glad that you were able to travel and have a good time, and I hope that you're ready tonight to um, create a, a really cute, a really cute card using a stamp set that we haven't seen before, and um, I believe it might be, I believe it is retiring. Um, and so why don't we go ahead and get turned down? We'll start creating. I have one announcement to share with you tonight and then let's just get to it. Shall we? Looks like it's, um, uh, about time to create. So we will do exactly that. Let's turn our camera down. Here we go. So... I hope that you guys were able to, if you, um, I'm in Michigan. So in Michigan yesterday, we had wonderful, wonderful weather. I had no idea it was supposed to be so nice. So I was just going to say, I hope that you've been able to go outside and enjoy some of the weather. I think I'm crooked. Do you guys think I'm crooked or am I straight? Okay, this looks pretty straight. That looks good to you. Um, let me know with a quick thumbs up and then we're going to go ahead and turn the camera around as well. I don't think we did that. So let's try and get our camera turned around. Let's see. There we go. That magic, that just kind of tickles me. All right, there we go. All right, so um, once again, don't forget to um, say hi. Just let me know that you're here. Um, whether you're watching live or whether you are watching the replay either, I love to hear it. If you have comments, I love to hear the, those as well. I have tonight 
um, one announcement to share with you, and that is about monthly card class. Let's see if I can get it in the right frame here. I don't know. I think we're a little bit askew. However, I think at least we are in the right orientation so you're able to read. Um, monthly card class, the registration is still open. It actually, registration closes tomorrow night at midnight um, for the monthly card class. In monthly card class, it's always free with a minimum purchase. Always, always, always. Um, that threshold right now is $30. So if you spend $30 in my online store, the card class is absolutely free for you. To take advantage of the free class, you'll need to use the host code that's associated with the class, and this lets me know that you would like the class for free. Um, if you don't want to make a purchase, the card class is only $25, so you can exercise that option as well. There's a Zoom component to card class, so we get together on Zoom and we create eight cards, two each of four different designs. Um, card class also comes with a full color PDF. So if you um, like to work independently and you would rather not um, join a Zoom class, then the PDF is um, available for you to work on your own at your own pace as well. Um, so I will have this information in the description above after the live tonight. There will be links for you to shop if you want to take advantage of the free card class um, and registration for it as well. So that is my announcement tonight. Let's talk about what products we're going to be using tonight and then we'll get to it. Um, so tonight we're going to be using the True Beauty it's a bundle, actually. Let me grab the dies. So it's a stamp set that is accompanied with a, um, a die set as well. So let me show you the dies. This is so pretty. I, th I think it's, I don't know, maybe it's a rose. This one looks like a rose. We're going to be focusing on this and this tonight and some of the leaves, but it's really, really beautiful. I did not find it in the new catalog, the True Beauty stamp set. Um, so I think that it's retiring. I am still digesting um, the new catalog and the retiring list. The retiring list is pretty exhaustive because it's covering two different catalogs. It is covering the um, current annual catalog. Here, let's go ahead and pull them down. I want to show you um, where the jewels, the gems are we're using tonight anyways. So the current um, annual catalog is retiring and the um, mini seasonal catalog is retiring. And because of that, the list is long of products that are retiring. So I've been just kind of taking it in slowly because I had sensory overload and so I had to just kind of back off and, and browse. Um, but I, I do believe that the um, stamp set that we're using tonight, True Beauty, is going to be retiring. Um, I went ahead and looked at my digital copy. By the way, you hear me talking about digital copy. One of the good things a perk of being a demonstrator is that you get access and you get to shop from the new products about a month or so before it goes live to the public. So when you hear me um, referring to the digital copy of the catalog, I am speaking of the new upcoming catalog. You guys, there's super, super cute stuff in there. So much so when I say I have um, had sensory overload. That is so, so true. Hi, Michelle. Welcome. Thank you so much for watching. Um, so I did go ahead and look and I didn't see it in the new catalog, but it's really pretty. Wait until I show you guys the dies. So, so there's a surprise in here with the dies. So I think you're going to like that. So we're going to be using that. I am using only basic white cardstock tonight. So 
Um, I am also using, you know, some of our Stampin' Up! colors are retiring. Soft Suede, which is, I've been a demonstrator since 2011. And I've been trying to think, I could probably research it. I haven't researched it um, to see if um, the Soft Suede is one of the colors that has been around the entire time. I feel like it has. Um, and this is going to be leaving us. We're going to be using that tonight. And then um, one of our current in colors, the Fresh Freesia, surprisingly is going to be carrying over. So we are going to get to see Fresh Freesia for a while to come. And we're going to be using that. So that's it, guys. I'm going to use two stamp colors tonight. The end. So I'm using the um, Outgoing Soft Suede. If you have any of the retiring colors, too, I, it's a good time to get the reinkers so that you're able to continue using them um, well into the future. Um, I like to do that as well. And then, like I said, we have basic white cardstock, both thick and regular. And then we're going to be using the Iridescent Pearls Basic Jewels. So the Iridescent Pearls are actually in the annual catalog. I was going to show you quickly where they are. Um because they're so delicate and pretty. And once um, you see what we're doing with them, I think you might want them because they're beautiful and they're versatile. Here, let's turn this towards me. I am just not good upside down. I don't think I spent a lot of time on my head as a kid. <laughs> okay, so um, I think they are, are they number five? Yeah, they're number five. So on page 141, let's get that a little closer. Can you see that? So on page 141, they are number five. Kind of hard to see, but you're going to see them up close and personal. And actually that, um, the true beauty, might as well tell you where that's at too, if you are, um, just shopping around and you want to know where it is. Let's see, because it is in the annual catalog as well. So let's flip to it really quickly. It's on page 67. I wasn't sure. I didn't think it was in the mini catalog, but I wasn't sure. Oh, how could I forget? How could I forget? It is a part of, um, I am enamored with the designer series paper, A Wash with Beauty. And the true beauty is the stamp bundle that goes along with that. So if you have a current catalog um, and you have a little bit of time, peruse the catalog, True Beauty, and the A Wash with Beauty designer series paper. We're not using this paper, but that's where that stamp bundle comes from. All right, let's get started, shall we? Let's get to it. So I have a card base that is... Um, five and a half by eight and a half. So it's half a sheet. We have a full eight and a half by 11 of the basic white. And I scored it at four and a quarter, the long way down the center here. And then um, I cut it in half at five and a half. So I had two pieces that are five and a half. It will make two cards. So I have a piece of basic white, um, card sack and then I have some scrap to stamp on. Um, most of the stamping that I did and die cutting I did off camera because there are some yummy little bits that we're going to look at in this um, organic beauty die set. Oh, and I'm also using a blending brush. We're going to do oh, just a little bit of blending. Hi, Amy. How are you? Welcome. Happy Crafty Thursday. I hope you're feeling better. All right, so let's look at the dies. I'm going to bring the stamp set in just so that I can show you. You know, I always like to show you how the die set and the stamp set coordinate with one another. So if you look at the dies, just take a quick peep at the dies. You can see the outline. Um, 
here on the dies that coordinate with the stamps. So what that means is you can stamp the image and then you can um, overlay it with the die, run it through your die cutting machine and um, you know have a die cut image that is stamped at the same time. There are a couple of um, dies in here that don't require stamping. We're going to be using those as well. It's this little, I don't know, this little sprig with the dots on it. I just love it. We actually have uh, a wooden embellishment um, that matches this. I believe it's an online exclusive only, but I like that. So we're going to use those two. And the surprise that I wanted to show you is that also in these dies, look at this, you guys. It comes with, can you see this? Here, let's, let's go ahead and, this is like lattice and it fills the entire um, face of the card. So we're gonna be using this as well. I love this, love, love, love. So we're gonna be using this as well. So it comes with all of these dies. I've gone ahead and did the die cutting, like I said, off camera because I did a little bit of it. And honestly, I don't think you guys want to watch me do all that cutting. Okay. Hi, Julie. Yes. Thank you, Michelle. It's really cool. I do think it's cool. So let's, let me show you what we're going to do with it. Let's make a little bit of room here on my desktop. And we're going to start out with the card base. I used um, a label die. These are the dies that are my favorite and I always forget the name of them, but they're called, I remember today, they are called um, something fancy dies. And I pulled this little um, label die out. How are you, Julie? Thank you so much for coming to watch. Super excited to have you. Happy Crafty Thursday. Okay, so this one. And you've seen these dies quite a bit. They're my favorite. They're called Something Fancy. I, for some reason, my brain wants to connect them with another stamp set instead of the Fancy Flora. So I, I get confused about the name, but they're Something Fancy. So you'll see me use that as well. And since we're talking about it, um, let's go ahead and do a little stamping. I um, have scored my card base at four and a quarter. We talked about that. So let's go ahead and fold it. We'll bring in our bone folder and then we'll put this aside just for a moment. We'll do a little bit of stamping and then we'll come back to our card base and start building. All right, so we're gonna stamp our sentiment on this little piece. Now remember, we're only using um, two ink colors tonight. We are using the Retiring Soft Suede and the Fresh Freesia, which we'll be um, carrying over. And we're gonna do some blending with that Fresh Freesia. I'm gonna show you a simple, quick way to make this dye pop. So here is the actual die cut. Isn't this amazing? So, so cool. I'm going to show you how we're going to make that pop because we're using tone on tone. We have a white die cut and a white card base. So I've elected to use the just because sentiment. There are a couple here. There's just because, um, here for you always, with love, and um, you're a true friend. So I'm going to use the just because it is going to fit in this little bitty spot because you guys are gonna give me good juju and I'm gonna do a fantastic job getting it right in this little space. Now, if you are doing this at home, I would recommend that you do your stamping first and then do your die cutting because you can position it. This way I am really putting pressure on myself to get the stamped, um, sentiment in that box and get it in there straight. I have to tell you a little bit of a secret. I cut two or three of these just in case I, <laughs> just in case I um, 
don't get it exactly in the place. I'm going to bring a little scrap paper in. And um, this part makes me the most nervous. So I have my um, soft suede here. So we're going to do this first. I just do the stamping first. And then that way I don't have to worry about it. All right. So if you notice, these stamps are cling, which means they're red rubber. And they um, still use an acrylic block. You can still see through the block but you don't need any extra cushion because they're, um, if I can tilt this the right way, you can see that there's cushion there. So I'm gonna tap this lightly on my soft suede ink pad and I'm just gonna hover over that die cut and do my very best at getting it in the center. And shall we see how I did? Oh my gosh! I got it by George, I think. Do you guys think that looks good? Can you see it? There we go. I think I did a pretty good job. So I'm just going to set this aside and let it dry. And then next we're going to stamp a couple of flowers and some leaves. So I'm going to bring in the um, scratch or scrap peep piece of um, basic white and there are two flowers in here let me point this out to you so there's the one that I pointed out initially that looks like a rose and then there's this tattered flower which I really um, this is very artistic so I like that tattered flower and then um, there's this cup flower that looks maybe like a poppy or a tattered tulip or something and then there is um, a stem with leaves on it so I'm going to use the loose leaves this little flower and then um, the rose looking flower so I've gone ahead and um, mounted them I'm going to bring in fresh freesia I'm going to do a couple of flowers with the fresh freesia and um, we're just going to need two of them. And then that little tiny cup looking flower here, we're going to do a few of them. So we'll just stamp these right along. Nice that we don't need to use the stamp and pierce mat if you are new to stamping. Um, and you're using the clear stamps, which are photopolymer, then you would want to use um, extra cushion, but our stamps are already cushioned. Okay, so let's go ahead and put our fresh freezer away because I believe we're done with that. And then we're going to stamp a little bit with the um, soft suede. And this, um, we're going to use this sprig. I call everything a sprig because I don't know what to call it. It actually may be a flower, but I call it sprig because, well, that's what I know to call it. All right, so we need a couple of these, and I just want to stamp them so that you can see what they look like and know what we're having, and then I'm gonna stamp. Hi, Anna. Welcome. Thank you. Anna says perfect. Thank you so much for being here. Happy Friday Eve. You guys, we are supposed to have fantastic weather in the Midwest this week. And I actually happen to have a Saturday that is mostly in the daytime going to be filled with creating. So I'll, I will get to take a break and go outside. I don't know. Maybe go to... I don't know where I'll go, but someplace just to be able to get outside. I am so super anxious for nice weather and outdoor activities. I mean, super anxious. I probably have talked to you guys about it every single week. So you know that it, that's not like a fake thing. <laughs> it's so, it is so real. All right, so I'm not sure how many leaves we need. Um, so I just, I've gone ahead and stamped three of those as well. All right, so let's call it good there with our stamping. 
And then through the magic of video or early preparation, <laughs> I have all of my little stamped goodies and my die cut goodies already done. Um, I did stamp a couple of the stems, but I, I'm not going to use them. They take up quite a bit of room on the, on the card front. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about some. So we ran this through the embossing machine, or I'm sorry, the um, die cutting machine. And then we have everything that we need in terms of um, die cuts. So let's talk about blending. I'm going to bring that scrap piece of paper. If you've not used a blending brush before, we're just going to do some loose um, coloring right in the center of our card front. Um, but if you haven't used a blending brush before, you will need to um, have a scrap piece of paper. You're going to rub on the scrap piece of paper before you apply the ink to your project because sometimes when you pick up the ink onto the blending brush, um, initially there will be streaks and you don't want that. You want it to look smooth and powdery like, like blush if you were putting on makeup. So we're gonna bring in the Fresh Freesia and we're going to pick up some ink onto our blending brush with the Fresh Freesia. So I am literally going to just kind of smudge this blending brush right around the ink pad and pick up some of that ink and get it right on the, on the brush. And then, like I said, I don't want um, to add any streaks when I start applying... Um, a swatch of color on the front of the card. I want it to be smooth, like makeup would look smooth if you were really blending. And so I'm just gonna blend a little bit to make sure everything's mixed there. And then I'll start blending right in the center. So I'm gonna put like a light oval right in the center of our card front. And um, I'm gonna need to move this because I can see the lines from it, darn. So that's really sensitive because that's two layers and I can see the crease of the paper through there. So I'm just, I'm not really being careful. I just don't want the color to go all the way to the edges. I want it to stay kind of concentrated in the center and I'll just apply as much ink as, um, you know, as I think looks good. And when I'm satisfied with the amount of color there, then we'll move on. And I just want it to be a little bit darker. And like I said, I'm just going in circular motions and I just want to apply some ink to the center there, uh, kind of in, a, in an oval, like a cloud. I want it to look like a cloud. All right, have you guys seen the blending brushes? Has anybody ever used the blending brushes? They're really kind of fun. And you get like three of them. They come in two sizes. Let me show you the different sizes. Um, this is a regular large one. They come three to a pack. I think they're like $12 and they might be going up just a little bit in the new catalog. I think you get like three of them for $12. $12. This is the large one. I actually use one blending brush for a color family. And so I don't buy one for every single color, um, you know, for every single color that they have. But I will, like this is the purple, and I use it for all of the purples. I didn't use it for really dark purples, like Blackberry Bliss or something like that, but like for Gorgeous Grape or Highland Heather, the Fresh Freesia, like any of the purples, I use the same brush for all of them. So when I'm done with the color that I'm using, I just take my scrap paper that I have and I rub the brush around until no color comes off. And then I stick it back in my in my container. So it's, um, um, you know, versatile in that way. And let me show you a small one. 
so you can see the difference. So you see the difference in size. The small ones are pretty, pretty nice too. Oh, Michelle says, I love them. I have two sets. Yes, I have two sets, Michelle, and one set of the small ones. And I think I'm going to get another set or two, probably a set of each. I do love them. But there's the difference in the, in the size, the size of them. And like I said, I have one for my greens. I use that one for all of my greens. And some people, I think, have washed them. I don't. I do what I just showed you. I rub them around until all of the color is gone. And, and then I put them away. All right, so now that we have um, our color applied to our card base, I think I'm going to use liquid glue and just apply some to the back side of that lattice. You guys, isn't that lattice so pretty? I think it's really super pretty. I'm going to bring in my silicone mat just because this is kind of big. And honestly, I think I'm gonna make a mess and I don't wanna stick it to my work surface. So I'm gonna apply some liquid glue to the back of the lattice and then we're gonna glue it right down to that card front. And it's gonna look really elegant, really sophisticated and beautiful. You guys are gonna love it, I promise, because I do. Now, I think that this card with the flowers and the lattice, it could be anything. We have Mother's Day coming up, though. Wouldn't this make um, a beautiful Mother's Day card? You don't really have to do what I'm, I'm doing. I'm applying a thin bead of glue to most of the lattice, but you, you wouldn't really need to do that. I think I was talking and thinking of all the ways that we could use this lattice and I, I got carried away a little bit. <laughs> so, all right, you see there's my mess and it will peel right off of the silicone mat. Cleans up really, really easily. I am gonna, however, bring my scrap back in and then we're just gonna apply this right to the card front. The liquid glue will give us just um, a little bit of time to move this piece around if it's not exactly where we want it to be, which it's not for me. I just want a nice thin little border around um, each side. That looks pretty good. Oh, hey, that's not too bad. I do have a little bit of glue on my hand. Oh boy, something is happening outside. There are fur people out there that aren't happy. I don't know if you guys can hear them. But the dogs are barking. We have, we have new fur people in our neighborhood. So I think um, some of the fur people are just getting a little testy and talking their business to the other people to let them know who runs the street. <laughs> okay. So here is what we have. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> okay. Now we're going to go ahead and bring in some of the die cuts that we made. And remember, we stamped the large what I called sprig that could be a flower. We're just going to start building right on the card. This is so pretty. Oh my gosh. I love it. So we're just going to start building on the card. We're going to add our die cuts to it. And I'm going to put like a floral spray, I guess, down here in the corner. And then we'll figure out where I want everything else. But we'll start with these two pieces, and I think I like them like that. So I'm making a dry run of it right now. Um, I have these two die cut cuts. They're the same. So I think I'm going to do a mirror of what um, I'm putting here. So I think we'll put the stamped soft suede image first. And then these are the die cuts that didn't require any stamping. I got a little bit of glue on my finger. You see that? 
and I'm not really worried um, about the placement in the center here because we're going to put the flowers right there. So we're going to cover it right up. Um, I'm more concerned with two things. I don't want my die cuts to go over the edge of the card because the card has to fit in an envelope. And I want to make sure that they're arranged so that they look pretty. I almost used a pale, like soft sea foam for this. I thought adding the soft sea foam and the fresh freesia might look really cool together, but in the end, I decided on, on the white. So that's what we have because that's what I cut. And oh, we can't forget my favorite piece. I have a couple of those, but I think that this is gonna be really busy. So um, no, we have to have room for the sentiment. So we'll put this layering down, I think. Okay, good enough, good enough. I have an idea, so let's go ahead and start gluing them. I'm just going to add a little bit of liquid glue to the back. And we'll just start gluing our die cuts down. So you see how easy peasy this is? The um, stamped images that you can die out or die cut you can cut out with your dies. <laughs> you can die out. You can cut out with your dies. It does the work for you. I like that more than anything. I like things that are simple enough to do and beautiful in the end. And I think that's what we're going to get here. So a little bit of liquid glue. Remember, I'm just going to kind of crisscross these. Uh, I know that I want them in the lower corner here. And I know that I don't want them to go off of the card. And I think that's a good start. So now I'm going to layer um, both of the plain white sprigs. I'm just adding little dots of the um, liquid glue. Once again, it doesn't have to be everywhere. But if you're me and you're chatting, you might end up with it everywhere, which is that's okay too. Well glued down is better than not, right? We want our card to stay together. I sometimes kind of like it when the edges of some of these, you know, floral sprigs and greenery stay popped up and some of them are glued down because I feel like it mimics what it would really look like. I can't remember. I think we, well, we must have put this up. All right, so I'm not putting it directly. If you can tell, I'm not gluing them directly on top of the stamped image, but more towards the top. All right, let me show you what we have so far. Isn't that beautiful? Can you guys see? I don't know if you can see it the way I see it, but it is gorgeous. Thank you for the hearts. It's gorgeous, you guys. Oh my gosh. All right, so now we have our little, I don't know what to call this, our dot to dot sprig. <laughs> I like this little guy. I'll just add a little bit of glue and we're gonna put them down at the bottom. Kind of pointing down in the corner here and then we'll add our flowers. I think I'll do one flat and one dimensional just because that's my normal that's my normal method. I think when one is flat and one is raised you just get more of a dramatic effect and um, let's see we'll kind of put them Maybe we'll have this one. All right, so I think we'll put this one, we'll put this one flat. Also, while, while we're doing this, I considered using double-sided adhesive, 
but I don't think that I would because there is a lot of layering going on here and we're adding our die cuts to lots of layers and I, I feel like the um, double-sided adhesive may not hold as well. So I like the idea that we're using um, the liquid glue. All right, and then we'll add our final flower here using Stampin' Dimensionals because there is no way that I'm ever going to have a product or project, not product, project that is completely flat in 99.9% .9 of the cases. So we have some double-sided adhesive there, kind of hard to see, but let me show you. If you are not familiar with them, they're just little hexagons and they're double-sided foam dots so they'll give your die cuts a little bit of a raised um, a little bit of a raised edge and so this will overlap oh this is beautiful okay Here's what we have. Thank you guys. Thank you for the thumbs up. Isn't this beautiful? Oh my gosh, this looks like, I don't know what this looks like. Very fancy schmancy. Okay, so we have our sentiment. Remember we stamped that in the, in the beginning and I'm just gonna kind of, um, I wonder if we should cover the flower with it. We need something at the top. So that's where, let's grab our little, remember we have the little flowers that we stamped and we have a couple of leaves that we stamped. I don't think we need, I don't think we need two of them. I don't know how we would put them, let's see. So we'll decide, we'll put something up in the opposite corner for balance. We need a little something. I don't think we need two of them. We'll, We'll just use one and maybe, let's see, one flower. Oh, that looks kind of boring. That flower looks lonely, you guys. Let's see. Oh, we'll do them like bells. How about that? Oh, look like Christmas bells. You know how you have two bells? Maybe that looks good. And then our sentiment. And then we'll add some embellishment. This card is so beautiful. What do you think that you could um, use this card for? The immediate thing I think of is Mother's Day. It just reminds me of a Mother's Day card. And maybe um, it could be an Easter card. It could be a wedding card. This is very elegant. All right, so let's go ahead. I think I like the little flowers that I have there. So let's stick them down and we'll add some embellishment. I'm on the fence about the embellishment, or I'm sorry, about the sentiment layer. What do you guys think? Do you think that sentiment layer should go here or should we cover the flower with it? It will be on dimensionals. I'm not I'm not sure. I'm thinking maybe I like it up here a little better. But let's go ahead and grab our liquid glue and we're gonna put the leaves down. We don't need a lot of glue. There's a lot of glue going on on this card and a lot of die cuts. And then we'll put our little flowers here. Maybe I'll put, maybe we can put one on dimensionals. We'll make one flat. I think I like them like bells. Not over the flower. Oh, Julie, hi Julie. Julie says up to. You guys, you guys have such good artistic sense because that's what I was thinking and you guys, you guys are so good. Thank you. So let's see. Oh yeah, maybe, so then maybe, um, maybe both of these need to be flat and then we'll put this on dimensionals. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Okay, we'll glue this down. And then remember we have those iridescent pearls. Now I wanted to show you when we go to add the iridescent pearls, 
they are truly iridescent and you can see the purple that is in them. Let's add our sentiment layer here. A couple of dimensionals and then we're almost done. Can you imagine this card with bold colors? Even the white. And then you used like a really bold, deep color. You could still do it right with the um, soft suede. I think it would look good there too. There we go. Oh, I wish I had the Wink of Stella. I think a little bit of Wink of Stella on the die cuts would look good too. All right, let's add our gems and then we're done. I want to see if you are able to see. Thank you. Thank you so much for the hearts. Thank you. I want to see if I can show you how these iridescent um, gems. No, it doesn't really photograph well. They almost look purple. They almost look purple right next to that fresh freesia. So let's grab our take your pick tool and I have to turn this around towards me I think one two three odd numbers are always good and oh my gosh these little iridescent pearls they're they're very beautiful Ooh. okay this is a card that I'll probably give away but I don't want to it's super pretty. All right, here it is. The finished card. Are you guys able to see those pearls? Thank you. I'll see when I post this and photograph it. I'll see if I can um, get nice, clear pictures. Thank you guys so much. Oh, thank you, Michelle. This card is so beautiful. I'm going to try and take really good pictures of it so I um, can share with you. It doesn't look on camera. What I'm seeing doesn't look the same as what I can see on the camera. It's gorgeous. We'll turn it this way. All right. So don't forget what we used tonight was, so that lattice, that lattice is really beautiful. And don't you love the effect of just taking your blending brush and adding a little color in the center of the card before you apply the lattice? Think of it. All you need is ink of any color that you want. This is intriguing. I, I'm loving it. Super beautiful. Gorgeous. Stampin' Up! has done a very good job with this. So it is the True Beauty. It's in the annual catalog. Um, oh, we did also use the Something Fancy dies. Those are my faves. I'm pretty confident those are um, carrying over. But the dies that go along with the True Beauty are the Organic Beauty dies. Very, very beautiful. And then the other reminder is monthly card class. I'm not quite sure where our flyer disappeared to, but monthly card class, the registration is open um, through midnight tomorrow. There will be a link in the description above if you'd like to sign up for monthly card class. Um, we get to make eight cards to each of four designs we get together we have fun we chat we're on a zoom it is super super fun you get a, a class kit right at your door so there's nothing for you to do pdf if you like to work independently so and card class is always free with a minimum purchase of 30 dollars. all right let's go ahead and say good night <laughs> Hello there, my lovelies. Thank you so much for being here with me. Thank you for allowing me to share with you. Next week, let's see, next week is after the 15th. Next week, I may be sharing the new Stampin' Up! colors with you. 
Um, so you'll get to see them. I won't be creating with them, but you'll get to, I'll get to show you and we'll talk a little bit about um, the new colors that are coming up and some new, new um, things that are coming up as well as create something cute. You know, we have to do that as well. So thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for allowing me into your space to be creative with you. Thank you for showing up. You guys are amazing. It's a beautiful weekend if you are anywhere in the world, actually. If you wake up, it's a beautiful weekend. Um, but if you are sun-deprived because you are in the Midwest <laughs> and you are anxious for sunshine and outdoors with me, we're supposed to have nice weather in the mid Midwest. So take advantage of it, but also take time out to be crafty and create. I will see you guys next week, same place, same time. Enjoy your weekend. Have a fantastic weekend. I will see you soon. Thanks for being here, guys. Bye.